Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back. And first one, select this background layer. Let's look here. And then go to shape layers. Hold this icon. Select this random rectangle tool. And let's make one shape layer like this. And Clusation tool. Go to fill and change color like this. Click OK and change name main. And let's open rectangle one and rectangle path one. Change roughness for these smooth parts like this. Change this 65. Okay, not bad. So in this time, let's close settings and Let's create new new object for control elements and for move tanker point center. Hold control, double click, pen behind icon. Clusation tool and move to here. Let's move to down like this. Okay, so let's go to enable title action save and select this main, go to window and enable align. Click this icon and this icon. Okay, so select this null and let's move to here. Okay, so select this main, let's link to null object one. Select null, change name, jump and move to down. Let's move to down like this. So in this time, select this jump and let's press P, make new pass in keyframe and go to 10 keyframes. For shortcut you can use hold shift press page down or let me show other way click time duration write plus 10 for go to 10 frames click ok and let's move to up and go to again 10 frames select first keyframe copy pass and go to three keyframes for shortcut you can use page down in keyboard let's go to one two three and move to up element a little bit up and go to three keyframes again one two three select this keyframe copy pass and select all keyframes make easy or click f9 so let's animation okay so select these all keyframes go to graph editor let's make jump and falling graph select this middle keyframe move to left and move to right Select next keyframe, move right for falling animation, and let's see. Okay, very nice. So in this time, back to keyframes and go to here. And let's press N for select work area. And right mouse, let's use him come to work area. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So in this time, go to first second and close jump settings. Go to shape layers. Hold this icon, select this ellipse tool, and let's make character eyes. Let's make eye white, hold shift, make like this. Clusation tool, and move to here, go to fill, change color to white, click OK, and let's hold control, double click pen behind icon for move to anchor point center, clusation tool. So in this time, select this ellipse one, let's control D. So duplicate and select the shape layer, hold shift, move to right. And again select the scale, change scale like this. And move to left. Let's move to left inside. For select the single layer, select first shape layer. If I want to select this, hold control, click here. For select this single layer. And let's move to left like this. Okay, nice. And select the shape layers, change stroke with 0. And select the shape layers, change name, I white. So let's select again this, move to up, and move to right. Okay, so in this time, go to shape layers, hold this icon, select this ellipse tool again, and hold shift, make like this. Clusation tool, go to fill. Select this black color, click OK, 
and let's select the shape layer 1, change name eyeball and select this ellipse 1 let's move to here Control D, select this ellipse 1, Control D and move to right okay, funny so in this time let's make more flare again go to here, let's hold this icon select this pen tool and let's make move, hold shift make like this this and this ok so go to fill, select white color, click ok and go to here, hold this icon make this smooth ok not bad, I'll change these points a little bit like this Clization tool and change name mouth press S, change scale and hold control, double click here, clearization tool chain scale and press R, chain rotation move to here ok nice, so select this move, eyeball and eye white link to jump layer, let's see let's see full screen ok so in this time select this eye white and ball move layers, press P and go to here make new passing keyframe and go to here move to left like this and select these keyframes make easies let's see ok, select keyframes again go to graph editor select this graph let's make graph like this and this keyframe ok, back to keyframes so in this time, go to first second, close keyframe settings and I want to put inside this face element inside main layer select this eye white and go to click toggle switch mode we can see our mat let's link to main layer, this mat ok and select this main, let's enable let's see ok nice select this eyeball and go to mat let's link to main layer let's see nice, this works we can see here these eyes moving inside to blue layer so finally select this move layer also go to mat, link to main layer nice, very good so in this time go to first second and go to shape layers, hold this icon, select this ellipse tool and let's hold shift, make one ellipse like this, clearization tool and go to fill, select this eyedropper, select this color, click ok, add name here, left ok and let's hold ctrl double click for move to anchor point center click session 2 and move to here ok let's change size press S change size like this ok so select this ear left ctrl D change name ear right and move to right ok so select these ear layers press P select mouth layer, press U for CQ frames and go to here let's select this first ear left go to first second, select ear left and right let's link to jump controller ok and go to here make ear left new passing Q frame and go to some Q frames move right inside let's see ok, so select this ear left and right move to behind, main layer ok, select this ear right make new passing keyframe and go to here Let's go to here, move to left like this ok, and select this ear right let's go to fill change color to dark click ok 
and let's close keyframes for position and go to solo select this pen behind and move tanker point left Equalization tool and unsolo so in this time select this e right move to up to main layer and make new passing keyframe hold shift press s click this cycle make sketch keyframe and go to here and right now let's let's move to left this ear let's see okay say so keyframes make easies and say so keyframes let's move to right and let's keyframe move to right okay so in the same let's go to here and change scale like this let's move to right okay so in this time make new scale keyframe and go to here chain scale 156 and go to here chain scale 0 and this 0 Okay, so let's see here. Select scale Q frames, make easies, and move right these Q frames. Okay, not bad. Let's move to left these Q frames. Nice. Let's close these Q frames and select these white and ball move let's control d and move to up let's move to right this let's press p and close position keyframes and go to here make new position keyframe go to back okay and let's move to right let's see okay so say keyframes make easy and let's see timing Okay, let's see here. Move to left. Okay, not bad. And say two frames. Go to graph editor, and let's make smooth graph again. Select two two frames. Move to left. Okay, very nice. Okay, back to two frames and close these two frames. So in this time, select this e right, Control D, and move to here. Let's press U and close all two frames, and go to back here, make new passing two frame, and go to back, move to right, like this. And select this e right two, move to behind main layer. Okay, let's move to left. And press U, select this passing two frames, make easy. Move to left a little bit. Okay, nice. And close these keyframe settings. Select this ear left, control D. And let's see timing. Okay, so in this time, select this ear left two, move to right, and press P and close keyframe for position and let's move to right here like this and make new passing keyframe go to here move to left select these position keyframes make easy okay let's see select first position keyframe let's move to here nice
Okay, so in this time, let's add shadow for more realistic. Let's select this main layer, Ctrl D and go to fill, change color to dark purple color, click OK and change scale like this. And let's go to matte, link to main layer. Okay, select this main two, let's change name shadow and move right like this. Chain scale like this. Okay, let's see. Select this eye white, press U. Let's see timing. Go to here and select shadow, press P. Make new passing keyframe. And go to here. Let's move to left. Like this. Move right. Select position keyframes. Make easies. Okay, select these two passing keyframes, move to right. Go to graph editor, select this graph, make smooth and this. Okay, back to keyframes and let's see. Select first keyframe, move to left. Nice. And select this shadow, let's control D. And press P, go to first second, let's close position two frames, move to right. And in this time, let's go to here, make new position two frame, go to back and move to right. Select two frames, make easies. Okay, move to left. Okay, that's good. So in this time, select this right ear and let's press U for CQ frames. Go to here and let's go to edit and split layer. Select this first ear right, move the behind main layer. Let's go to first second. Okay, nice. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.